In this exercise, I'm going to show you how to set up an automatically bulleted or numbered list in InDesign. I'm looking at a document called GruNewsApril.ind.d found inside the Exercise Files folder, and I'm currently looking at page 4. Notice this text in the right-hand column. Let's say that this first block of nonsensical text is the introduction to our list, and then the other paragraphs represent the list. I'm going to go ahead and double-click inside of the second paragraph to switch to the Type tool and activate the text, and then I'm going to drag down to select parts of all but the first paragraph. Next, I'll go up to the Control Panel and click on this far right icon in order to bring up a menu of Advanced Character and Paragraph Formatting options. And then I'll go down to this guy, Bullets and Numbering, a very useful command in InDesign. I'll move the dialog box over to make sure that the preview checkbox is turned on so I can see what I'm doing. Then I'll change the list type from None to Bullets. So let's say at first we're looking for a bulleted list. You can select the kind of bullet you want to use, but a round bullet is fine for my purposes. Don't worry about these other options. They're set correctly by default. You want to drop down to this option right here, and you want to set it to however far in you want the text after the bullet to be indented. So let's say I want just a single pica. I'll just enter one, and then I'll tab down to the next option, first line indent, and I'll set that to the negative version of that left indent value. That's all you do. Just set it to negative whatever you set for left indent. And in my case, it would be negative 1. Then press Tab. The Tab Position option should go empty for you. Leave it empty. You don't want to mess with it. And then you go ahead and click OK in order to accept that modification. And from now on, InDesign will go ahead and add bullets to other items in the list as well. So if I press the Enter key at this point, or the Return key on the Mac, and type in some text, then it gets a bullet. I'll go ahead and press Control z a couple of times, Command-Z on the Mac, in order to undo that modification. Now let's say we want to work with the numbered list. I will once again select portions of all but the first paragraph. I'll go up to the menu icon in the control panel, click on it, and choose Bullets and Numbering. Notice that it remembers that the list type is set to Bullets, because after all it is. Preview is still turned on. I'm now going to switch from Bullets to Numbers. Now numbers take up more room than bullets do, so we're going to nudge things over a little bit. So I'm going to take this left indent value up to 1P6 like so, and I'm just pressing the up arrow key to make this happen. And then I'll tab down to the next value, and I'll press the down arrow key until I get negative 1P6. So it matches. Again, we just want parity between those two values. Tab position, leave it alone, and then click OK in order to accept your modification. Now the great thing about having a numbered list is that InDesign automatically keeps up with the numbering. So if I were to delete one of these items, I'll go ahead and quadruple click inside of this paragraph and then press the backspace key or the delete key. Notice that InDesign goes ahead and changes the numbering for all the remaining paragraphs automatically. You could also add an item to the numbered list. I'll go ahead and undo the deletion of that previous paragraph there. And I'll delete a little bit of text there, enter a period, press the Enter or Return key, and notice that again, InDesign has gone ahead and automatically updated that list so I don't have to worry about it at all. So not only does it automate the process, it also prevents you from making the kinds of mistakes you would make if you were manually numbering the list. And that's how you create bulleted and numbered lists inside InDesign.